as if these college safe spaces were not enough already. It's getting worse, guys. It's getting a lot worse. In fact, the University of Arizona has just adopted and put out a new 20-page book for schools, guys, on how to deal and fight microaggression, these little snowflakes that get offended in the classroom. So now there's two specific words they want them to use now. So if you're in a classroom and you're the one being offended, they're encouraging students to now start saying, ouch. That's right. So if you get offended by even what your teacher says or any other student in the class, you're supposed to say, ouch. And then the person who offended you is supposed to respond by saying, oops. This is the U of A college campus, guys. This isn't a first grade class. This is a college, a university for crying out loud. One of the biggest in the nation. I mean, oh gosh. I, I... it's it's where we're at. It's it's almost it almost just leaves me speechless. I I don't know. I I don't know what else to say. If these students feel victimized in the classroom, God forbid they feel victimized, they have to use the words "ouch" and "oops." Can you imagine sitting in the classroom hearing that "ouch, ouch, oops, oops, ouch, ouch, oops." <laughs> oh, where is this gonna? Where is it gonna come to an end, guys? I don't know. <laughs> if necessary, there can be further dialogue also about the exchange of the offense that was made. The guide was authorized by Jesus Trevino, the vice provost of the big taxpayer-funded university whose salary reportedly exceeds $214,000 a year. Well, I'm not surprised. For those unfamiliar with the apparently epidemic scale of microaggression and thus not able to spot such offenses, the booklet offers a definition of microaggressions are, quote, the everyday verbal, nonverbal, and environmental slights snubs or insults whether intentional or unintentional that communicate hostile derogatory or negative messages to target persons based solely upon their marginalized group membership well isn't that nice for them to point that out the university of arizona is not the only ones to do this guys they weren't the first ones to suggest the ouch oops counter protocol here okay Iowa State University was also involved, uh, and they're encouraging a similar dialogue. So let me get this straight. So let's just say you have a Trump supporter in the classroom. So if somebody is talking about Donald Trump and they're offended by Donald Trump because, you know, everybody at the college campuses are, what is that person being offended? and say, ouch. If it were me, I'd sit there and say Donald Trump's name a hundred times just to hear the person say, ouch, 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 ouch. We're not babies here. When are we going to flush this political correctness garbage and get back to being real Americans again. This is a joke. It's an embarrassment. It's a true embarrassment. I, I don't know what else to say. I'll leave you with that. I'll put the link to the description below here in the video. Cardsfan480. So subscribe to my channel, guys. Most importantly, if you've never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, we're living in crazy times, guys. Why not make Jesus the Lord of your life today? You can be born again, forgiven of all of your sins. Come into the kingdom of God. We all have everlasting life. And a home in heaven for eternity, guys. I promise you it'll be the greatest decision that you ever do make, all right? Also, guys, don't forget to share these videos with your friends and family. I'll continue to bring you here all the latest breaking news, current world events, and Bible prophecy updates, all from a Christian conservative point of view, where we will continue to spread the love of Jesus Christ here in this channel at a time that I believe is most important and most crucial. I'll be back with more, guys. Take care. Be safe out there. Avoid the safe spaces. And I'll talk to you soon.